What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel Moody E46. After five months, I'm finally gonna be showing you guys my third E46. I don't know why it took me so long to make this video. I feel like I always wanted to do it, but I just, I don't know. The weather's always been shit and the weather's actually pretty shit right now, but I'm like, I'm gonna do it regardless, even if I freeze my ass. I feel like, I don't know, after three E46s, you're just kinda like, hmm, you're questioning life, like, hmm, another third. 46 like what am I doing with my life? No, I'm just kidding. I love I You guys know how much I love my E46. It's like these things are the most precious things to me in this world So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys this car a little backstory on this a lot of you guys know that I crashed my last E46 Unfortunately, and I honestly wasn't planning to buy another E46 like at all. I was like, I'm done with E46s. The last one was the one that I loved the most and I'm like, that's it. That's gonna be my ending, my final ending with E46s with a bang, you know? And I'm just like, never again, nope. And I was planning to uh, leave to Los Angeles for a month, so I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely not looking for a car. I don't need that right now. But I don't know, things happen in a very interesting and weird way. And Shoe Guy, my friend, um, he knew somebody that had this car and that literally didn't make any, like had no use for it anymore. So he kind of just left it stranded. The poor thing left, it, left her stranded, it's okay. For like a couple of years and he just didn't like really have any use for it. And my friend called me and he's like, there's this E46 at my work, do you want it? It's there and I don't know like I like I said I wasn't really planning on getting it and especially after what happened I was still very like sensitive to the whole topic and another E46 and blah 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 so I kind of sat on it for a couple of weeks um, because I wasn't really too sure what I wanted to do but when I canceled my flight to LA and I was you know like staying here for sure I'm like okay you know what now I need to start looking for another car and I was just gonna buy a winter beater but my E46 senses came back and they're like, no, you have to get another one. So I did. And I'm so glad that I did that because I have fallen in love with it. Although I didn't think I would love it the same as the last one, but I'm slowly getting there. So yeah, I got blessed with this beauty. Uh, it's red, it matches my hair. And uh, this one is actually the M-Tech. I just like fell in love. I'm like, it's a manual, it's M-Tech, it's an E46, that's all that matters. There was literally nothing wrong with the car at all. It's just been obviously parked outside. So there is, the body's not in the greatest shape, but I am looking to work on that and get it back into shape. Um, I'm gonna do a little walkthrough before it gets too dark. It's like 7.30 right now. Oh my God, 7.48 sunset is in like 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little walkthrough, show you guys the car for, for a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, Moody E46, and I'll catch you guys later. Okay guys, so this is what the car looks like from the outside. So, because the car was left outside um, for a couple of years, obviously it got some rust on it. The only other rust spots, um, other than the underneath the trunk, is on this fender. There's a little one, and this one's clean. This one, right here. This one has some rust as well. But I mean, for three years sitting outside, poor thing. She's not too bad. When I first bought the E46, the previous owner didn't have the passenger side um, side skirt. So my friend gave me the side skirt and it's been sitting in my car for two months because I thought I was going to get it painted. But I'm like, you know what, I'm going to be wrapping the car anyway. So I finally installed it like two days ago. The other matching rim to this set is in the trunk. Um, so the previous owner had like a flat or something. 
So right now it's sitting in the trunk. I just have to swap them out in case you guys are like wondering why this one is different. But yeah, that's basically my E46, guys. 